a, another Monaro here for you. Essentially this is a, um, the V2 Monaro that was the LS1 engine um, that had come to us in a, in a form that it had already messed on. It had a um, custom exhaust system, a custom fuel tank, uh, which I think where the main problem was. It had a camshaft in the engine. That OTR already had those covers, but the engine was smashed to smithereens. Um, it really, I couldn't tell you, I didn't get to see the engine, I couldn't tell you what the failure was, but looking at the design of the fuel system, um, it was never going to work properly. didn't have a proper swirl pot, so with a, with a um, fuel injected car, especially when you're making power, unless you've got them set up, set up properly, they can, uh, unlike a carburetor car, that the fuel tank can cause major issues in the way of damaging your engine. Anyway, what this guy wanted to do, he wanted to take it a whole lot further, wants to go supercharged, um, built engine, all the bits and pieces, so essentially, but doing it step by step. This stage, what I've done is a complete build. So this has got a fresh engine built for it. It's a new six litre block. It's the stroke crankshaft with um, rods, pistons. So it's a full forge build down the bottom. We've also ceramic coated the pistons. We've got a new set of LSA cylinder heads. Um, it's got a full exhaust system, so twin three inch all the way through. It's got a full fuel system, big fuel system with twin pumps. We're only running one pump at the moment. Got a decent clutch in at the moment. Um, got bits and pieces already. The engine is also built for supercharging. So it's not making its peak power that it could be um, because it is basically lower compression to suit a supercharger, camshaft to suit a supercharger, but it's still making, as you saw, pretty decent power. But this is just the first stage of it. So like I said, it's a full built engine. Um, it's got a full custom twin three inch exhaust system, big fuel system, um, and over here at the graph, we, we haven't got a pre-run, once again, because essentially we didn't get to see it. Pretty good power for a, for a lower compression engine. I'm pretty happy with uh, 460 horsepower at the tyres, uh, 465, so really I was, I was hoping to see the 440 to 450. Um, in this same format, this build, with being a custom build that it is, would probably go through with the extra bits and pieces. We'd probably be able to make the 470, 480 with that intake manifold, um, but and then into the 500 with a different intake manifold. But that amount of power on an engine, an NA setup for a forced induction engine, um, that's pretty good power. So it's got a nice, smooth power curve right across it. Um, it's running really nicely, happy with it. It's basically going to do a few Ks like this and then we'll get on to the next step, which we'll do a video again as well um, and really looking at aiming for the 630 to 650 rear wheel horsepower in a stroker, high torque, really nice package. Anyway, that's um, what we're going to show you today.